But that seems to be the danger here in this text that Paul is warning them of. Because their walk has made them enemies of the cross. Literally, that word for enemy in the Greek means to be hostile or have hatred towards. Even those who are calling them, let's be more faithful to the Old Testament law. If you're going to be a true Christian, you have to keep all of the Old Testament law. He says it's not that they're just in opposition to the law of God, the gospel of God. They hate it. They hate the gospel of grace. Here's an, another important thing, just an interesting thing to think about. He says, I have often told you of them, and I tell you now, see the pastor's heart, even with tears. Paul has kept bringing this up again and again to them. Don't let this slip from your attention. Friends, I, I'll just confess as a pastor, I struggle with this. There are so many unhelpful voices that are out there, and I, I feel... I feel the pull every time I hear one of their horrible, horrible mishandling of God's word. We need to talk about this. We need to talk about this. And I hope what we're doing is periodically we mention, uh, don't listen to them. Don't put your hope in them. But even more important is we're teaching you week after week, here's how you look at God's word rightly. Here's how you rightly see God's word in context. So we're building within you an infrastructure that isn't just based on us giving you a list of names that says don't listen to them, but we're, we're teaching you to hear a sound. And, and when you hear something that sounds different, you say that's not it. That's not the gospel. That's not a true and faithful handling of God's word.